Hola. How you doing, everyone? Well, um, I just wanted to let everybody know um, that there's a, a website that you can all use for uh, streaming, as in for overlays. Now, I've been making overlays for a good while now, uh, but using Photoshop, and it's a lot of a lot of it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, and obviously, you know, it can get really expensive. Uh, you know, if you go to a professional designer. You can get these overlays for you know 10 20 up to 250 300 pounds especially if they're, they're going to do all your social media your twitch banners um that sort of stuff your offline screens there's there's a whole you know your logo there's loads of different things but i found a website that i've been using on and off probably around the last couple of months while i've been streaming with expert or an obs um and this website is genius it takes all the the effort away and it's just literally visit this site and load it up and away you go i'm going to give you a short tutorial today to just show you what you can do with it again it's completely up to you if you want to get a personalized one then go for it you know if you've got the sort of money that you can then go you know go do it uh, but let's just show you this it's it's a web called, called a website called strexum okay uh and it's just about to come up on the screen right about now Okay, so this is it. Let me move my camera out of the way. So you don't really need to see my face for all this. So let me get rid of that. Right, so this is Strexum, uh, basically. And it starts off and you go to this web page and you log in with your Twitch login. It just directs you to uh, authorize it and then it jobs are good and it just connects and that's it. Wicked. So you start off and this is your home screen no tell a lie that's your home screen and then up here it will be blank most of these are all free if you go to the marketplace here on the left hand side it will come up with this and then all you need to do is go down and choose an overlay basically something that you like and it will tell you here how much it costs can you see there it says like 300 coins obviously you start off with zero coins if you want to buy uh, some of these the, the the more expensive ones then all you need to go is go to your coins at the top and then you click one of these buttons and add however much you want to pay remember it's a completely free donation sort of service if you wish whereas you can use the free ones but if you want to go that little bit further if you want to customize it that little bit more then you can pay say if you if you paid five dollars then you get 500 coins and then obviously the more you donate the more coins and the more of a bonus you get so anyway, once you've done this, you'll get your coins come up here in the in this yellow box, and it'll tell you how many you've got. And then you can go along the the, the pictures, and you can decide on which which one you want. And as you can see, these are all three four hundred coins. There are ones on here that are free, one hundred percent free. Although I can't see any at the minute. I think it's because I've already bought them all. Uh, yeah, it's because I haven't. If you go to the show hide fi filters, and then untick that then it should show all the other ones as well so obviously this one yeah, I think that actually costs but that's because I've bought it but there are free ones on here that this one is free the CSGO uh, tab so basically all you do is once you've you've found one that you like it will come up and let's take for instance this is my current one so you get to edit it loads it up and obviously on this screen you can see everything now this is the game that you're going to be playing, for instance, I don't know, you, you could you could be playing anything. You could be playing GTA, you could be playing H1Z1, whatever, whatever you, you you're streaming. Now, on this right hand side, you can see that there's this little customizable customizable menu. Uh, you've got a webcam box up in the top right corner. You can change that to a small webcam box or a large one, or if you don't want it at all, you just turn it off, and it disappears. The same with the top bar, which is this section at the top where it says last rights, recent donations, last latest followers, and then the stay connected bars underneath. You can turn all this off if you wish. So you can have everything off if you want, but obviously you're paying for this, and all you need to do is click in there and type your name in, whatever your stream name is, and it's done. It's all good. Uh, the same with recent donations and latest followers. All you do there is if you click on the settings on the top bar, you can change them to whatever one you want you've got the donations you've got followers you've got subscribers if you're a partner streamer and that's it really it's that simple the same with social bar if you want to do the social bar that's the little yellow bar underneath 
you can see where it says uh, Facebook last rights, Twitter last rights, stay connected. You can change all this. You can put Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook on the really, really cool. Um, then you got the Twitch chat. Obviously, I don't use this myself personally, but I know a lot of other streamers have. And uh, all that is is that integrates your actual chat onto the screen so you can see it. And you can choose from several different themes in here to go along with that. But again, I don't use that, but you may. So once this is all done, you scroll down the page and you can see your notifications. These are all your alert settings for follows, for donations, for hosts. Um, really, really simple. Again, all the this is all done for you, obviously. On this left-hand side, you can change the messages on the, the line. Obviously, if it, if it says test followed, just followed. You can change that to whatever you want. You can change the line underneath to whatever you want, the duration and the alert display, uh, the alert delay, sorry. You can change the color. You can change the animation of it. You can see at the moment it's on flashing. And then this part isn't unlocked unless you pay for it. And I think it's one or 200 coin coins um, on every different uh, overlay. So then all you, that allows you to do is upload your own customizable sounds which obviously for my follower i've got new heroes joining so you can you can change all this these are the bog standard ones that you can have and they're a little bit cheesy as you can see as you can hear so yeah that's that's basically what this is all about and there's there's loads of overlays on here so it doesn't make a difference what game it is even though it says on there h1z1 or csgo or call of duty or whatever you can use whatever with whatever game what it doesn't make a difference if you like the design you use it on your stream so what i'll do now is i'll show you how to actually install them on xsplit or on your obs right first and foremost on here there is a link unique overlay link right there so all you need to be doing is taking that now if you've got a very well a lower performance pc uh, then you just click on the cut mode. The cut mode comes up. You'll see that this comes up at the top of the page. Although it's not showing it on the screen for some reason. That's a bit random. But yeah, basically, you click that button and you get like a little control and C command. And all you do is control and C. And then I will bring up my X split just to show you. Okay, so there's my XSplit, and all you need to do on there is, if you use an XSplit, of course, you go to Add, you go down to, you can't see it again, but you go down to Other, and you go down to Web Page URL, and it will bring this little box up, and you just Control and V to put that overlay onto your XSplit. You press OK, and there you go. It pops up. It's in place. And then all you need to do, for instance, is for me, I take my webcam and I will reshape the webcam to fit in the box, which I know that's slightly off. But yeah, you can see you can see the, the, the point of it. So then if we turn away and turn off that background and if we turn away the desktop region as well, there you go. So you can see now that we are ready to stream. And then obviously from there you put your capture card in the background and blah 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 and you're good to go that's it it's done so it's a really cost effective cheap easy way to do it um obviously i will be bringing you more tutorials if you've got any questions or anything i'll leave all the descriptions of the website and everything actually in the description of the video um and that's it i will see you soon please make sure if you enjoy the video subscribe to my youtube uh give me a thumbs up throw me a comment i'll do everything to get back to you um and if i don't see you on youtube then please visit me at twitch.tv forward slash last rights i stream six days a week every day but a tuesday i'll see you soon